yeah, it was a pretty um, tough game. We had Somerville back in the team and um, Barnard, they were terrorising before the game, how, what they were going to do to me and I had a bit of banter and um, on the ground as you do, a bit of aggression, then the lights went out. By that bare margin, 20 points, but uh, in the context, hello, we might really have a... So we've all quickly huddled together down near the um, interchange bench down there and um, we all got ushered into the rooms down below and just had to wait whether we were going to go back out or not. Oh, I thought that the, the, back then, I think it was the AFL just started, I thought they hadn't paid their uh, electricity bill, you know, but... The uh... <laughs> place is in darkness. Oh, I don't think there is a rule on this, you no. know. I don't think this has ever happened before. And um, the crowd was just going wild, yeah. These were the scenes on the ground as spectators took matters into their own hands. I smell some smoke burning, still one of the point posts that were lit up by one of the crowd snapping down the goalposts and lighting them up. They were just um, probably peed off that the, the game didn't go ahead. <laughs> After that, um, I actually unfortunately got drug tested um, with no lights there, so uh, everyone could go home. I had to wait back. And um, back then, there was no sort of sports science and that, so they'd give you some water some uh, stubbies of VB, Carlton Draft, so I've had a couple of VB stubbies, um, which I didn't know dehydrated me even more. So um, I'm just uh, sitting there waiting to give the sample to the drug testers of the girl there as well. So they've actually got to physically watch you give the sample, the urine sample into the test tube. So three hours goes by, I'm just waiting, because you just fit, played, it was only half a game, so I was dehydrated, and most games you couldn't you know, go, go to the toilet. Um, after about three hours, I finally give a sample, and they had to get a cigarette lighter. Actually, they're going to physically watch you uh, donate the sample, and you know, having a bit of stage fright, off, you know, it was a bit daunting. But um, well, we got there.